Hello there and welcome. This is a brief introduction to the technology of radio telemetry in the field of wildlife conservation. You may be wondering, what is radio telemetry and how does it help animals in the wild? According to Oxford University, radio telemetry has been used for wildlife monitoring since the 1960s. Researchers use this technology to track animal locations as well as their movements. There are three different types of radio tracking that are being used today. VHF radio tracking, satellite tracking, and GPS tracking. Today we will mainly focus on the traditional VHF method. Location and movements are determined by using radio signals or electromagnetic waves. A radio transmitter is worn by the tracked animal and this transmitter sends a signal to a radio antenna and receiver. When the animal is close by, the receiver beeps, and when the scientist gets closer to that animal, the beeps become louder. There are many types of transmitters that researchers can use to track wildlife. The most common form of transmitter, and the most well-known, is a collar. Collars have to be durable, safe for the animal, be able to withstand environmental conditions, and they must maintain flexibility. So, let's discover why this technology is important. Wildlife conservation organizations, such as the Snow Leopard Conservancy, use radio telemetry to gather detailed information about snow leopards. This information includes habitat preference, movement patterns, home range use, and any socialization with other cats. With the data, not only can the researcher determine population size, we can also determine what habitat features are most important when it comes to feeding, resting, and breeding. This way, scientists can be more responsive to the needs of animals through development of well-researched conservation plans. Unfortunately, there are some disadvantages to using this technology. It can be rather invasive to the tagged animal, the animal can suffer adverse effects, and the technology is more labor-intensive. On the other hand, there are several advantages to using radio telemetry. It is a well-tested technique, it can be used on animals of many sizes, and there's a relatively low cost involved. Overall, radio telemetry has revolutionized wildlife research. The National Park Service agrees that it is a fantastic tool for monitoring wildlife movements and habitat preference. This resilient technology has no current substitute. However, advances in technology will only improve its effectiveness in the future.